client came to us looking to learn how to use the Adjoint Solver. The purpose um, for their use of the Adjoint Solver was to improve the efficiency of some quad rotor propellers. In order to increase the efficiency of the propellers, they were looking to maximize the thrust force for any given torque. So to reduce the torque, which is essentially the propellers drag uh, and increase the, the thrust produced by the propeller. Um, we took a representative geometry from them, just a NACA 0012 um, airfoil at some angle of attack and um, calculated the flow solution um, and then run it through the adjoint solver. So the beauty of the adjoint solver, there's, um, a, there's multiple different observable types that we can optimize for. So we can optimize for forces, moments, swirl, pressure drop, um, and multiple other kind of mathematical values that we might use. Um, and not only that, but we can also optimize for a range of different conditions. So if you think about a wing that's in flight from takeoff to landing, it goes through a number of different conditions. Uh, you don't have to optimize just for one condition. You can take the sensitivities of um, the adjoint solution for each different given condition, provide a weighting to those and morph the mesh accordingly so that you're effectively optimizing for multiple conditions in and which will mean a much more robust optimization, um, final optimized design. Uh, so the adjoint solver is essentially a secondary solver to the CFD solver. And what it does is it uses a mathematical technique whereby you want to optimize for a certain output variable, in this case called an observable, for any given uh, input variables. Uh, so rather than running a parameter sweep, uh, which is lots of discrete points and computationally very expensive, you rearrange the equations to solve an, what's called an adjoint equation. And the adjoint equation solves for derivatives, what we call sensitivities. So these sensitivities are the change in the output parameter or the observable with respect to any given input parameter. Um, and in this case, and most of the time when using the adjoint solver, it's used to change the shape or optimize aerodynamic shapes um, using the CFD and adjoint solvers together.